Hello my lovely fairies. So I don't know if you guys noticed but I was wearing this really cute pixie fairy elf ear cuff and um, I don't know if you guys knew but I actually made that and it's really easy to make so I decided to make a little video for you guys. And basically what you're going to be needing, um, you'll need a, a couple of pliers. I have a needle nose plier, wire cutters, and then these other pliers. I don't really know what they're called. I kind of got them in a set from uh, Michael's. And then you're also going to need a 26 wire gauge and also a 20 wire gauge. And you can kind of pick whatever colors you think would look nice. But I chose these copper ones because I, I thought they were cute. And also some beads to decorate it. So uh, the first thing I did, I actually found a reference photo online on Pinterest. And then I kind of tried to copy it and draw it out. I would kind of recommend finding a ear cuff that you like and then trying to draw the design yourself or just printing out a picture of one. I think that probably would be best. And then this is kind of the design that I was going for here. I drew it out and I uh, made a little mistake so I just kind of crossed it out there. So I'm taking the thickest wire gauge and I'm going to be cutting it at about 8.5 to 9 inches. This kind of depends on how big you want your design to be. And I'm kind of just following the outline that I made previously that I drew. And you want to be really careful with this because the wire can kind of hurt you if you're not careful. So make sure you're um, handling it really carefully and following the, the design that you drew earlier. And then I'm just... So I'm just following the design that I drew. Um, this was not really hard at all. It's just kind of following whatever layout that you previously thought of or that you found online or whatever. And then at the top there, I'm gonna be pinching it and making it into more of like an elf-like um, curve. So I'm using my wire, my pliers or whatever. <laughs> I'm using the wire cutter, no sorry, I'm using the pliers to make a point at the top there and then making it sharper by pushing it in a little bit more. And then following the outline with the rest of the wire there. And the little areas where you see the swirl, I'm actually going to be um, swirling the wires in so they don't poke my ear when I put them on. And you'll see me do that in a second. It doesn't have to be perfect, like it doesn't have to match the picture perfectly as long as it fits what you're looking for. Um, it's just kind of a rough outline for right now and I would suggest trying it on in between doing all of the steps just to make sure it's the right fit that you're looking for. And I'm taking the pliers, I first make an eye and then I kind of just fold it back on itself and this is basically just making sure I don't poke myself when I put it on my ear because the edges of the wires are pretty sharp and I did end up cutting myself on the smaller wire. I just, um, I think I pushed in a little too hard on one of the wires and then it ended up hurting a little bit, but it just hurt a little bit. So make sure you're careful with that. And then I'm taking us another piece of the thickest wire gauge and I'm cutting it at around six inches. This is going to be the same outline. It's just going to go inside of the outline that we previously made. So this one just goes inside of the outline we already made and it's just going to be a smaller version of the, tar the top portion of the ear. And you want to make sure to curl in the wire so that they don't hurt your ear as well just to make sure it doesn't um, irritate you or anything. Just to making, just make sure it's not going to poke you pretty much. We're attaching those two pieces the, together with the smaller wire gauge and it doesn't really matter which way you do this. I kind of like how the messy the messy wire gauge look. I don't know. It just looks more realistic to, to me and more woodsy, I guess. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just kind of wrapping it around to make sure the two pieces fit together nicely. Okay, and then you're just making sure that the two pieces are attached. It doesn't really matter how you do this. As long as it fits together and doesn't fall apart when you're holding it, uh, that's, that's only... As long as it fits together, you should be fine. 
and then you're gonna make sure to clamp it down so that the sharper edges don't poke out make sure that you're flattening every piece so that the sharper edges don't hurt you when you put it on and then doing the same thing on the other side next thing we're doing is taking a longer piece of wire gauge of the same um, thickness the thinner one and then making a really long piece I'd say uh, like 9 10 inches and then wiring your beads through it or whatever design you plan to make um, this is the time to do it so I just wired in a couple beads just to make the design kind of a little bit cuter and um, then wiring it through the first ear parts I hope you guys can see that right um, it's just going through the first the inner portion of the ear and then um, just kind of tying it together so that the beads stand up straight and they're on the edge and after that I just wrap it around a couple times um, through the ear kind of just making a cute little design doesn't really matter which way you do this it's pretty much up to you what kind of design you want to do there are a ton of different videos on YouTube of how to do these and um, other designs that you can possibly do but this is the most simple one that I could find so I kind of wanted to do this one first just so you guys can see how to do it or the basics of it And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I, I'll make some more eventually, but this is the only de design that I've done so far. And I'll um, leave a link in the description box of some other like pictures of other ear cuffs if you guys kind of want to copy those. But yeah, I hope you guys liked it. This is pretty much the finished look. And if you liked it, make sure to give me a thumbs up and share the video. Also, if you like the makeup that I have on in this video, I do have a full-on tutorial of how I did it. So you guys can check that out too. And um... Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.